Hi there, guys. Um, yeah, this is a CEO here from uh, Somali Life. Just just regarding a few things, I'd like to raise a few topics. Um, you guys obviously have issues uh, down south, big issues. Um, I'm from I'm from up north. Although I live in London at the moment, um, I was born in uh, Brooklyn, which is uh, part of Somali land, um, which is obviously, as you know, it's trying to gain. It's it's independent, but it's trying to gain international recognition. Um, it's quite peaceful, as you know. It's democratic, has law and order, and the people respect the government and whatever the government chooses to impose um, in terms of law or whatever. Um, it's completely different down south uh, for a few reasons. It's different. I know it's different, Dan. But I'd like to just touch on a few things. If you guys can tell me... First of all, I'd like you guys to just tell me where you see Somalia, whether we can get us, whether Somalia can get itself out of the current situation that it's in, and also if you guys can just tell me where this Darod slash Hawia clash, um, where it stemmed from, because it's very very destructive. I see a lot of um, a lot of forums, been reading up a lot of topics. Darod fam, Darod people. Um, um, you know, taking the piss out of um, the Hawiers and the Hawiers obviously trying to defend themselves. Most of the times, it's. I'm not saying I'm not I'm not trying to generalize people. I'm not trying to generalize anything. I'm really not about that. Um, but I tend to see more that odds pointing fingers at Hawi fingers at the Hawia clan. Um, you know. But anyway, um, yeah. Please, please, tell me. Just describe to me what. Um, how the issues had stemmed. Do you see the Hawiya and the Darod people ever coming together to just settle their differences and become one, you know? Alright, let's start discussing this. This is going to be quite interesting. Alright.